Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along my friend, for it's our last refrain Quoi tu de How are you guys doing? I hope everything good. I'm trying to get out of this mess, as you can see. It's a mess everywhere. Give me a minute and I start talking to you guys. There is a train station guy I just came out of, that building right there. Right there. Yes guys, I arrived in the city of Charleroi. And uh, it took me a while to find my way out of that mess. Take a look around here. So this is more or less a quiet spot that I found so I can talk a little bit. So as I said, I'm in the city of Charleroi. I have never been here before. And uh, you know, the reason I came here uh, is because apparently this city was voted the ugliest city in Europe. Yes. Believe it or not. So actually, I came to see for myself if that's actually true. And that vote for the ugliest city in Europe was in uh, 2008, so not, not that long ago. And it's not that it's the ugliest city in Belgium, but it's the ugliest city in Europe. Can you believe that? And from first impressions, it looks like it too. Holy. 
And that's, a, that's quite an achievement, you know. At Europe, about 20 countries, and this is the ugliest city. Wow. Well, anyways, I came to look for myself if that's the case, and let's start walking and see what we see here. But, like I say, first impressions are not that great at all. Let's get going. Yeah, uh, guys, this city is a, an industrial city, and uh, in the 70s and, 70s and 80s, or 60s and 70s, I would say, it was booming, you know, like there were coal mines here, steel factories are still here, as you can see, and uh, yeah, back in those days, uh, it was really booming, but then, uh, the coal mines closed down in the 80s, early 80s, late 70s, and then the lots of steel factories closed down, and this city became, you know, a city of crime and no jobs and I don't know what what else, but. Like I said earlier, it was voted the ugliest city in Europe. And by the looks of it, at first glance, still is. You know? Take a look, guys. This is a steel factory, from what I can see. Look at there. And... A lot of abandoned uh, industrial buildings and stuff. So, and then the, the, apparently the, the city is like built around and in between all those factories. So, we will see if we find a nice spot in the city. But uh, right now, we see. All abandoned factories, guys. Unreal. I don't know if they're ever going to clean this up, but they're, they're
They deserted them a long time ago, you can tell. One deserted factory after the other guy. Crazy stuff. And it's, look at it. This is a ship laying here with metal. I walked already probably three or four kilometers. It's all the same, guys. I think it's about time for me to turn back because it keeps on going, keeps on going here. That way is where I'm coming from, guys. And there is the train station. And apparently this should be the way to the downtown area. I hope the downtown area looks any better than where I come from. But at first glance, it doesn't look so promising, but who knows. Take a look, guys. I think I walked about five kilometers into that industrial zone there. Well, the industrial zone is so woven into the city, it's unreal. It's unreal. Guys, I'm walking here for a bit towards the downtown area. But it doesn't look promising if you're asking me. Take a look all these places. Empty, empty, for sale, for rent. Look at that big place there. Looked like a movie theater, deserted. Now this might be this might have something to do with uh, the recent diseases that uh, are currently going around the world, but still, here, take a look. Empty. Empty. Deserted. Empty. Next one for rent. Next one for rent. That one, I don't know. Uh, looks empty to me. Corner, empty. This one right here, look, it's empty. Across the street here, empty, empty. This one is for sale. That one closed, closed, closed. Doesn't look good, guys. I can see why uh, the vote went this way. I can definitely see it. This big one on the corner here. Look, Alouer means for rent. Here, this big building. See, same sign here above the car here for rent. 
Oh, there you can see me walking, guys. Huge place for rent. On this side, uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go some, let's go a bit further and we we'll see what happens there. Oh boy. Look at that. I ended up on this bigger boulevard, guys, and yeah, stores are open here. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at this, guys. The chocolate store survived. If you saw my previous video, you know that one, guys. Wow, that's bad guys. Look at every single store in the downtown area. Not every single one, but look at it. This is a sad story, if you're asking me. Take a look. Take a look. It's just not just one store, it's whole streets. Complete streets, uh, freaking empty. Actually, guys, it's worse than I expected. Seriously. I thought there must be some good parts there, but wow.
Well, guys, it's definitely not a nice city, that's for sure. I can see why it is voted the ugliest one in, in Europe. Holy! I've never seen anything like this before, seriously. You know, and I know when they're working around town, you know, it's always pretty bad, but this is, is huge. Guys, and there is no point in keep on filming this because wherever you look, it's pretty shitty, let me tell you. And I can see why they said uh, that there was a high crime rate in this uh, city. I can see that no one, every two minutes there is a cop car driving by. Guys. Yeah, take a look. I have seen enough guys, I'm gonna make my way back to the station and I'm out of here. See, look at there. I don't know if you can see it, cop cars everywhere, everywhere. Probably the crime rate is really high here as they said. So yeah guys, I make my way back to the station. Uh, I tried to find a nice spot, but no way, no way. So guys, it might be a boring video, I don't know. I will see when it's edited, but I had to show you this, you know. I know if they, if they advertise this town as the number one ugliest town in Europe, well, if you're asking me, I don't want to live here. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to our subscribers. Thank you to everybody that uh, watches our videos. And see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Close to the sun.